So you've just downloaded LaunchBox for the very first time, and now you're seeing notifications for things like emu movies, but you have absolutely no idea what emu movies is. Hi, my name is Brad, and today on Unbroken Software Studio Tutorials, I'll show you what Emo Movies is, how to create your account, how to link it to your LaunchBox install, and everything that an Emo Movies Premium account can do for you in conjunction with LaunchBox and a LaunchBox Premium account of your own. So first, we just need to head on over to the Emo Movies website, emomovies.com. The link to the website is in the description below, but it is a relatively short URL. At the top, you will see two things, sign in or sign up. If you already happen to have an Emo Movies account, go ahead and sign in. If you don't have one, just go ahead and click the sign up button here. Sign up with your account information. It does not need to be the same as your LaunchBox information. They can be completely separate account and emails, whatever you want. Just go ahead and sign on up to the website. Since I already have an account, I went ahead and just signed in. You can see at the top right that I've signed in and I've even got a notification. So scrolling on down, you'll see a couple of different sections. First, you can click on this link here to take you to their artwork, manuals, music, videos, and more section. More on that in a minute. But then of course down here, you can see some video suggestions some front end suggestions. And of course, LaunchBox is one of the suggested front ends. Uh, we are one of the front ends that also has the uh, Emo Movies sync feature integrated, which is what this entire tutorial is all about. See right here, integrated Emo Movies sync. Scrolling down a little bit more, you can see some statistics, a few more areas for notifications, things that may be of interest to you, topics by by people. So you see DJ Weevil here. There was a uh, Austin made a, made a couple of comments. You might even see me in here a couple of times. And then you see some photos. So in their files section, you'll see a latest video uh, ticker here. Uh, Austin and myself generally uh, post um, our videos here. We don't upload them to the website, but they're like the YouTube links, uh, but you can view them here on the website. Here on the right, you'll see a categories section, uh, submit media, the Emu Movies Sync program, if you would like to download that, apps and utilities, arcade media, computer media, console media, and then there's even more sections that you can browse as well. It is worth noting that Emo Movies Sync does exist for users who want to grab media without the need for LaunchBox directly, but LaunchBox downloads what you need, when you need it, and it plugs it in to the proper spot. Free and premium members can utilize Emu Movie Sync with no restrictions, except for when it comes to the high quality video option. Only premium users can download the high quality video from Emu Movies. As well, free users have a bandwidth cap when downloading assets through the website, but through Emu Movie Sync or LaunchBox, there is none. If you also become a premium Emu Movies user, you get access to their FTP server, which houses everything that Sync does and a lot more exclusive content. Emu Movies does offer you an extremely wide array of pictures and movies and music and manuals, and they're expanding every single day. Uh, the LaunchBox community is a part of helping that expansion, uh, and they are a very, 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 very good complement to our LaunchBox games database, especially since we ourselves don't actually offer any video. Emu Movies is a perfect solution for that. So in the top right where it says upgrade, go ahead and click that button. And here you can see some of the things that I was just telling you about. Now you can go ahead and become a monthly or yearly supporter, or you can go ahead and become a lifetime supporter. Now I, myself and, and Jason, we are lifetime supporters. And we know that there's uh, quite a few of uh, our members who are lifetime supporters. You don't need to purchase a lifetime to get access to everything. You just need to at least purchase a monthly supporter option to then get access to videos so that you can get FTP access if you would like. Things of that nature. And of course, if you do become a higher tiered member, ads on the website will no longer 
appear for you. So go down to the bottom, click one of the supporter buttons, become a supporter down here. If one of these tiers is something that you would like to be a part of. Once you have your Emu Movies level up support purchased for uh, the Emu Movies website uh, and you've got your receipt, your account is activated, you are ready to go. Now in LaunchBox, head on over to Tools, Options. Here on the left where it says Search and then Emu Movies, go ahead and click the Emu Movies button. Go ahead and insert your user ID and your password here. And then you can go ahead and click the test button here. Successfully logged into Emu Movies. Now again, you don't need a premium account to log in to Emu Movies through LaunchBox. Now let's take Onimusha Dawn of Dreams. We're gonna search for metadata. It's going to search the places that we scrape. We're gonna go ahead and select the LaunchBox games database selection here. We're gonna go ahead and click download images and media. It's going to query Emu Movies and the LaunchBox Games Database and Wikipedia. You're going to go ahead and see a bunch of checkboxes here. You're going to go ahead and leave all of these checked if you would like. And then in the Emu Movies tab here as well, there's options for box, box 3D, logos, and video MP4 high quality. So these are the MP4 videos. I would suggest getting the MP4 videos for everything. So if something offers you different tiers of videos. Some games and some systems will have high quality and lower quality videos and some will offer FLV video. I suggest the MP4 for either low or high quality. If you personally have bandwidth limitations or disk space is a concern to you, then I would go ahead and say grab the low quality if that's not something that you are completely worried about. However, if you are any on a big screen using big box or launch box and your video is playing in a big enough window. I would also suggest grabbing high quality video in that situation, even if you have ISP bandwidth caps, because if you have high resolution screens, stretching can occur and the lower quality video can get fuzzy. So we're going to go ahead and click download. It's going to download everything from the launch box games database and emu movies. It's also worth noting that to download video from Emu Movies within LaunchBox, you do also need a LaunchBox premium account. If you do purchase premium for LaunchBox, of course, you do get a lot more than just, uh, you know, downloading video. You do get tons of features within LaunchBox and Big Box, probably our biggest value proposition for premium users. The lowest tier that we offer is $20 for a year of LaunchBox and a year of updates. So if you are strapped on money, the $20 for the LaunchBox Premium and then the one month of Emo Movies, if you just want to take a month and try and download as much as you can, would probably be the cheapest solution to get you up and running. But of course, if the services are something that you use quite a lot, then I would suggest either keeping your Emo Movies Premium subscription open or purchasing the higher tiers of each of our services. Emo Movies and ourselves would greatly appreciate any support that you guys give us. And of course, if you've seen the system tutorials on our channel, you will have seen this before, but I would like to cover this specifically in this tutorial just to try and cover the bases. So this is the import wizard and I've just selected some N64 games to pretend to import. So then we will click next here on this screen. We will check the LaunchBox games database. This screen will show you all of the check boxes for all of the different image categories that we offer. We'll go ahead and try to download any image available for any of the games you are trying to import for that given system. On this screen, it will log you in to Emu Movies. Now there is a checkbox here to prioritize images from Emu Movies over the LaunchBox Games Database and Wikipedia. You are more than welcome to check this box if you prefer images from Emu Movies as your default. Now, some games may not be on the LaunchBox Games Database, in which case, if it's on the Emu Movies Database, it will just go ahead and default to using those images. There are games that are not on Emu Movies, and in which case, even if you check that box, it will go ahead and use the LaunchBox Games Database images as the defaults instead. Now you can go ahead and change your image priorities around or swap between 3D and 2D art and you can edit a specific game to select the type of image or specific image that you would want or add your own. So it is left up as much as possible to the user for their customization level. However, these are just the very base options quickly available to most users. 
For example, here on the left, you see Motor Mayhem is in a 3D box art. Now, chances are that's actually in Emu Movies box art because this game doesn't have 2D art or doesn't even have a Launchbox Games database ID attached to it or it's not even on the database. So it defaulted because of my image priorities to use 3D art if there's nothing else available. So that's the example there. If you scroll down in this list here, you will see video MP4, video MP4 high quality, and video system intro MP4. Video system intro is new. This will download video uh, for that specific system for use within Big Box. So I would go ahead and suggest to select this option here. I would also go ahead and keep these two selected at the same time. It will go ahead and just use a video MP4 if the high quality option for that game doesn't exist. So in every case, I believe it will try to use the high quality option first. And then if the game doesn't have a high quality option, it will go ahead and just use the regular video MP4 option instead. Once you have everything selected uh, that you would like, or if you just left it at default, go ahead and click next, next. It will bring up your list of games and then you'll go ahead and click finish. It will go ahead and uh, process emu movies first. We'll go ahead and then import. And as it's importing each game, it will download the available images, media and video for every game that you are importing. If it finds it, if it's available, on the Launchbox Games database and Emu Movies together in tandem and combine them together to create the best possible uh, amount of media for any individual game. Now, it's not downloading anything for me because I've got all of these games imported already, but that was just the example that I wanted to show everyone in this tutorial. So that's it. That's how you purchase your premium for Emu Movies and Launchbox and kind of how they work together in harmony. My name is Brad, and if this tutorial helped you figure Emu Movies and Launchbox out a little bit more, and you now know how each system works specifically together, then please leave us a thumbs up down below. Jason and myself would greatly appreciate any love that you guys can give this video. If I didn't explain anything clearly, or you would love some more explanation on something specific in this tutorial, or you have a question on how Launchbox works, then go ahead and leave your question in the comment section below. Jason and myself would be more than happy to answer any questions that you guys have on anything Launchbox related. The link to my channel is in the description below. I do lots of gaming content over there. I am still trying to uh, you know, <laughs> figure out what I'm going to do and, and get back up and running after the loss of my hard drive. But I still exist over there. I still have lots of things planned for my channel. So I would greatly appreciate you guys going to check that out and subscribing there as well. Remember, Freaks and Geeks, play more games, and I'll see you next time. Have a good day.